before you can complete the square, you've got to make sure that there's a one on your x squared. Here, that is a one, so we're in good shape, but if it wasn't, we'd have to factor that coefficient out. So before you can complete the square, you've got to have just an x squared. So, this is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. The b always is the coefficient on your x. So in this case, b is 9. And when you complete the square, you have to use the formula 1 half times b quantity squared. So I'm going to add to this 1 half times b, which is 9, quantity squared. Bring down the 45, and of course, actually, let's go ahead and move the 45 to the other side. That's what we should do. So if I do that, that would be a negative 45. Now, we've added 1 half times 9 squared to the left-hand side. If you add something to the left, you got to add it to the right. So this is x squared plus 9x plus... This is 9 over 2 squared, which is 81 over 4, equals negative 45 plus 81 over 4. And this is going to factor into x plus 9 halves squared. I got it from that. Quantity squared. x plus 9 halves times x plus 9 halves. If you go on the side of your paper and FOIL that out, you will get this. Now, on the right-hand side, I've got to get a common denominator, and my common denominator is going to be 4, and this is 4 plus 81 over 4, so this is 45 over 1, so you need to top and bottom of 4, and that's going to give you a negative 180 over 4, and then a negative 180 negative 180 plus an 81 is what? 90, negative 99. So this is x plus 9 halves squared equals a negative 99 over 4. And now what you do is you take the square root of both sides. And that's going to give you plus or minus. So that's going to give you x plus 9 halves equals, well, this is plus or minus square root of negative 1 times 9 times 11, all over 4. So this is x plus 9 halves equals plus or minus. Square root of negative 1 is i. Square root of 9 is 3. You still have a square root of 11 in the top, and you're going to have a 2 in the bottom because you take the square root of that. So we need to solve for x by subtracting this 9 halves from both sides. And that's going to give me x equals a negative 9 halves plus or minus um, 3i times the square root of 11 all over 2. So there, those are your two answers.